Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone, to the channel IT Simplified. I hope you're having a good time with your family and friends. In today's session, I'm here to show you how you can integrate your Veeam backup for Office 365 with object storage. Yes, you heard it right. Now with the Veeam version 4, it gives you the ability to add uh, cloud storage, which is also called object storage as a backup repository. And that is what we'll see in today's session. So before we start, just let me show you. If I go and expand the console and to go to general options, or actually under upgrade, you'll see I'm running the version 4. That's the latest version which has been released by Veeam. So let me just go and close this. I've already added one uh, tenant under the organization. As you can see, IT Simplified 1. Now let's go to the backup infrastructure. Once you deploy your Veeam uh, Office 365 console, your C drive is taken as a default backup repository. And as you can see now, this is the new thing. So under object storage repository, I will go and add object storage. You need to give a name for this. Can give the description if you want and you can see under the type you can use s3 compatible amazon s3 both standard and infrequent access you can use microsoft azure Vault blob storage which we're gonna focus on you can also use ibm cloud object storage so all these options are available so let's pick microsoft azure blob storage and go to next and here it is asking me to provide the information from the Azure storage account. Now, since we have not configured, as I said that we're gonna configure everything from scratch, let me flip over to my Azure subscription. I will do a quick search for storage account. I don't have any, so we'll create from scratch. Let's go and click on add. Pick your subscription. If you don't have a resource group, you need to create one. I already have. Let me give a name. Pick the region. What performance you want, I've leave that to the default. You can choose whatever access tier. Go to networking, I'm gonna take all these default. Go next, review and create. And click on the create button. Storage account was created successfully. Let me go inside my storage account. And the one that we want are we'll be needing the access keys once we configure everything. Let me just go to containers. Let me go and click on container. Give the name. Name it C. 101 container 101 you can choose whatever access you like go and click on ok and i have successfully created the container over here right so let me just close this go to my my storage account one more time and here you can see that under settings, we have the access key. So basically the storage account name and the key by default, Azure generates two key, key one and key two. You can choose whichever you want, it should work, but let's grab the storage account name. Let me copy this, go to my Veeam server, go and click on add and under the account, we need to provide the storage account name and the key is the key one or key to whichever you want. Let me just copy that. Click on OK. And under the region, 99% of the time we will come under Azure Global Standard. But if you fall under the Azure Germany, China government, you can pick which accordingly. Let me pick the standard. Go next. See my container was automatically populated over here. So let me just leave that and I will go and click on browse because we need to give a folder under that container so let me go and click on new folder and I will name this blob1 click on ok and click on the finish button so as you can see my container 
and my storage account has been added successfully and with this we can now do the backups over here so this was a quick video on how to add object storage with veeam office 365 version 4 i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching have a good day